Why is Logan Paul's career is over now? Logan Paul, one of the most controversial YouTubers, has been riding the wave of the next big thing for years. Paul's career began with IRL videos, but he's gained a name for himself in professional athletics and, of all things, card collecting. And now he's back in the public eye after a video series aired by another YouTuber accused him of defrauding his followers. For perhaps the first time in his life, Paul posted a video answer five days ago and then swiftly removed it from the internet. In this video, we will take a look at the reason why Logan Paul's career is over now. Logan Paul began pushing a game called CryptoZoo on his show Impulsive in August 2021. CryptoZoo is a blockchain-based game in which players can spend in-game cash to buy an egg, which hatches into an animal that users can crossbreed with other in-game animals. The rarer the breed, the more in-game crypto a player may receive, which can be used to buy more eggs or cash out for fiat currency. Players have allegedly spent and lost tens of thousands of dollars with CryptoZoo since then. Investors and Logan Paul fans claim that there was no way to pay out, and no method to hatch the eggs at all, in a YouTube video series by CoffeeZilla, legal name Steven Findeisen, recording the blunder. Following rising public criticism in the aftermath of CoffeeZilla's three-part series, which received millions of views, Paul first released a reaction video that he said would debunk CoffeeZilla's claims before removing it two days later. You've effectively leveraged my name to gain followers and money. You can absolutely hatch and breed your animals, Paul told CoffeeZilla. However, Paul did not respond to charges that he kept players' money even when they attempted to withdraw it. The video was then taken from his channel, however it was re-uploaded by streamer Hassan Piker in a video. While your work used to be objective, your click addiction has distorted your judgment, Paul added. Paul attempted to contradict Fendizen's charges by stating he was duped by a criminal while working for CryptoZoo. Zach Kelling was identified by Paul as the man who created the game's code and fled to Switzerland with it, holding it hostage for $1 million. Paul describes Kelling's criminal history but fails to add in his defense that he willingly engaged Kelling to work on the project. In the following days, Paul seemed to change his tune. Paul supposedly apologized to CoffeeZilla over the phone after some more back and forth. On January 7, CoffeeZilla tweeted, Logan phoned me. He stated that he is deleting the two comments and withdrawing the litigation threats. I will be taking responsibility, apologizing, and presenting a strategy in the near future, Paul said. According to a screenshot shared on Twitter by CoffeeZilla, I want to thank everyone who has supported me and believed in our idea. I realize things have been difficult, but your support means everything to me, and I will put things right. The YouTuber developed a second career as a boxer, competing in high-profile fights against opponents such as Floyd Mayweather. He's also dabbled with professional wrestling, though any thoughts of a new career were dashed when it appeared that the majority of the audience only wanted to see Paul get pummeled. Some have questioned Paul's overall sporting career, and his bout versus Mayweather sparked outrage because supporters felt the battle was fixed. Fortunately for Paul detractors, the YouTuber turned boxer may not be in the ring for much longer due to a horrific hand injury. The couple was apparently traveling throughout Germany with a raucous entourage that included German rapper Juzzes when they came across one of the country's most known red light districts in Hamburg. Majlock claimed that Paul was struggling with addiction at the time and was beginning to look worse for wear. He was also threatening German gang members and demanding admission to a bar that was clearly close to him. Whatever one thinks of Paul's forays into NFTs or his travel past, it appears he has fully converted his passion for boxing to his latest projects. Paul has interpreted this unfortunate break as a turning point that caused him to reconsider what was essential to him, which may have been exactly what he needed in the end. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.